This prophetic school we are training people is to create their awareness of the office they are inside. It's to let them know the possibilities that surround that prophetic office. Because some people don't even know the possibilities in that prophetic office. They have no idea what entails and what it takes to live in that office. So we need to teach people what to do, how to do it, at which time. So there are people against prophetic school. They say prophetic school is a scam. Why is it that the prophetic is so under attack to understand? Starting a school for prophets is also under attack. Sometimes I thought that it was the behavior of the prophets that made the school to be under attack. But I've now discovered that it is not the behavior of the prophets. It is a mindset about that office which we must stand on our grounds to correct. I am unapologetically a prophet. I am not apologetic for being a prophet. There's no day I will apologize for being a prophet. I am one. You have not apologized for being a pastor. I will not apologize for being a prophet. You haven't apologized for being a teacher. They celebrate you. So let them also celebrate me for being a prophet because I'm part of the fivefold ministry and I'm contributing my quota to the body of Christ. The sermon will teach, the prophecies will give, the light will bring to that office. Help reshaping people, destiny and people callings. So whenever you see uh, prophetic office, people are getting angry. They are taking beef. Why are you angry for somebody organizing a school to bring light? You have been to the medical school. Why are you not angry? Do you know that doing surgery at the hospital with that license is a crime? They will arrest you. But what licenses you to do surgery is the certificate. So if you go there, you become a better doctor because of the medical school. You became a better lawyer because of the law, the, the law school. You became a better nurse because of the nursing school. You became a better teacher because of the teaching school. So when we are also teaching prophets, give us the platform. Give us the opportunity to teach people and mentor them. But say people, eh, it is a scam. It is a scam. What is a scam? Did I say I'm calling prophets to a new office? I am not a caller of prophets, but I can give those who are called light. We are helping the gifted with their gifts. If not, the gifted can become rebels at the end of the day. And then a rebellion gifted person is not an asset in the kingdom of God. We need to mentor and train people how not to be fake. Because there are people that are working for the devil without their knowledge. There are people serving Lucifer without their knowledge. So you see people, these ignorant people, eh, hey, have a prophetic office. How can you train people how to see in the realm of the spirit? What are you talking about? Are people not trained how to preach? Were you not trained how to preach? Pastors are trained how to preach. Why won't you tell the Holy Ghost to teach them how to preach? Stop betting emotions from things. And sometimes it's not like they have a problem against the school. They have the problem against the one doing the school. But if it was coming from any other person, they don't mind. But far as it is this prophet, it is a scam. Abba, remove emotions. I'm begging you in the name of Jesus. Remove emotions. Take your time and listen to my sermons on the prophetic. Take your time. Let God talk to you. Listen to my videos on the prophetic. And you can now come back and judge me whether I am qualified to teach the prophetic office or I am not qualified to teach it. I am not reading and teaching you. I am teaching you what I am experiencing. Whatever I give you, I have it. I remember somebody called me, one lady called me and said, eh, I saw a video of you cursing people and you are doing this and you are teaching. You are saying that God is love. Prophet cannot curse. Prophets will not curse. God cannot curse. God cannot kill. I said, take it easy. Where are you coming from? She sent the video. I said, the one who posted the video and myself, who do you believe? Whatever happened on public, I take responsibility. I take responsibility for whatever happened. Any mistake that happened, I take responsibility. But I am telling you that we are mentoring a new generation of prophets. A generation of prophets prophets who don't know how to destroy people. It is a new generation of prophets. But that does not mean you so abused. You do not want abuse them. We need a prophetic school. It is not a want. It is a dying need. It's a dying need. Do you know how many prophets who have gone wayward because they were lacking a mentor? And then I told you, we are not going to keep quiet because fathers of the prophetic office in the past years did not speak out. If I would die protecting this prophetic office, I would die doing it because I believe that it is my calling and I will not leave my office unoccupied. My office shall not be vacant whilst I am alive over my dead body. We are prophetic voices and we'll be speaking from this church to the other parts of the world, both in physical and on social media, everywhere we are speaking. We're not keeping quiet. So when we say come, we'll show you how to see angels and how to communicate with them. We are not lying to you. We are telling you the truth. There is a way to see angels. 
There is a way. Don't tell me that it is the Holy Ghost who will show you how to see angels. You have just shown me how ignorant you are. Do you know that I can be an angel and you don't know? You have no idea that angels can even be in a human form. Join the class before you condemn. We are not teaching heresies. Abraham saw three men coming. They were men, but the man perceived that they were angels. Why? Because he had that eye to discern the coming of. He knows who is an angel and who is not an angel. Why will a man having all this responsibility in a house is still begging people to come to his house and eat? And after they ate, they blessed him and they said, next year by this time you have a baby boy. Why? Because they, the man knew that these people are angels. Do you think that people are not meeting angels every day? We are teaching them how to identify angels and how to communicate with them and how to present themselves to have an encounter with these beings. And you are telling us that it is not possible. It is God who does Stop being naive. Sam's wall was having school of the prophets. Elijah was having sons of the prophets. If the prophetic cannot be taught, why were they there? Don't add emotions to things that are happening. Hear me well. We need it now. And we are not staying back until we achieve whatever we are looking in that area. We are pushing more materials. We are pushing more light. We are delivering more people. We are setting more people free until the heavens are open. We are not relenting and we are not stopping. Oh yeah, they need it. Look at the errors in the office. Look at the number of false prophets. Look at the number of people that were genuine until they became false. Look at the number of people that were genuine prophets until they became false. And some people are false and they don't know they are false. So that's the most dangerous part of it all. That a false prophet don't know he's a false prophet. That a false prophet don't know that he's serving the devil. That a false prophet don't know that he's serving mammon. That the false prophet don't even know he's false. And that when they are counting genuine prophets, he will count himself among the genuine ones. Meanwhile, in another realm, God is not aware of him. God don't know him. He started well until he debated. Hear me well. I don't condemn people for their mistakes. But when we don't correct mistakes, a genuine prophet can become a false prophet. And let me tell you something. Like I put on my post, we don't colonize a society by accusation. We colonize by light. So whatever we want to change now, it must start with education. Not by accusation. Not by condemnation. Not by throwing of stones. It must start with education. Stop condemning prophets and draw them close. Those who are close to you, call them, mentor them. Tell them from today you are my mentee. I will correct you when you go wrong. How many people have you reached out to correct and they, 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 they reject your correction? Do you know that when you condemn people, you push them more to do the bad things? Correction with love. Draw people close to God. You think that you are defending God but you are rather doing worse. We those who have taken it upon ourselves to teach and to bring light to the office, you don't like us. You say we are out for money. Do you think if I want money, I'll be in Bolagatanga? Am I well? Why will I fake in Bolagatanga? If I'm going to fake and I'm faking here, it's a curse. Faking in this land is a curse. Because when you are faking, if you don't have God, you should have money. Is that not right? Why would I fake where there is no God, there is no money? May God punish the devil. So don't mind these people. They say, hey, 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 girl. We will do it. Go and also start your accusation school. You can you call it former accusation school. How to accuse prophets and how to accuse men of God. Go and start one. You will get students. By the grace of God, I have many mentees across the world through this cruise. And the funny thing is that I'm one of the prophets who gave you information for free. You never got it like that. Go to my YouTube page, Facebook page. I have given you information for free. Prophetic code. Some of you have never heard about them until you start hearing them from. The code number eight. God is my witness. I have not listened to it. I sat down and I used my experience and biblical stories and prepare code number eight. Where I was talking about how you carry your children. The sins you are committing, you commit them with your children and your grandchildren. And I told you that there are sins your father committed you were a partaker of that sin. So it is the grace of God that cleansed you. So everybody is born a sinner. That is why every newborn baby need to give their life to Christ. When they start talking, let them confess. Don't say the father you are born in church means that, uh, no, my son, when he grows, his father is a prophet, but he has to confess Christ. Lord Jesus, I accept, I accept, and I admit, and I admit that I am a sinner. You are not righteous because your father is a man of God. It doesn't translate you into righteousness. Romans 10, you must confess. You must confess with your mouth. Open your mouth and say it. And let me tell you something. Starting a new thing is not easy. If you are listening to the opinion of men, you can't bet a new revival in a society. That was the fear and the weaknesses of Prophet William Abraham. I refuse that. Say whatever you want to say. Far as it is not aligning with my character, I know God is not stopping me. I am unstoppable, unbreakable. Ah, shoot! Somebody shout fire! <laughs> Some people are just angry. If you are those people that get angry that light is entering the society, you have darkness. And then the funny thing is that some people say, eh, but eh, these people are charging and charging and charging. How much? I ask again, how much? Pastor Amos, 
transcribing the teachings. How long do it normally take you on one book? Take strong. And you two, you are here. How many months did you use to transcribe the PSPS? One month. So all these people, they should come here, sit down. I should sit down, prepare my note, come, buy data myself, come here, do the setup. I should buy camera myself, do the studio myself, and come and teach you. Your, your desire for free things is what is keeping you where you are. Come and teach you, give you the note for free to show that I'm a true prophet. I should borrow money, print things, and give it to you so that I'll be in debt to prove that I'm a genuine prophet. No, you are paying for the material, sir, and I'm not apologizing. You are paying for it. Look. You can pay for that knowledge. The what the what we gave them ten was it more than ten books? We gave them more than ten books. How much is a book at Amazon? So don't say we are charging and selling books. How much is a book at Amazon? Please be sincere. Let's leave this hatred and be sincere. How much is a book on Amazon? Yesterday I bought a book from Amazon. I bought it for $39. $39. The billionaire's commitment. I bought it $39. That's around 500 Ghana cities. That's one book. And we are giving you more than 10 books for a hundred dollars. And you want to kill us? Yeah, yeah, I'm charging. Yeah, they are charging. This prophet was good, but now the prophet, this prophet, they are not charging us. So even the books too. <laughs> the books we should give you free to prove that we are good. We are telling you buy every book for less than $10. And those monies you will buy for the, I will sit down, write a book, and I will sell it to you for less than $10. Look at it. Watch me. For less than $10. And that money you use and bought that book, I will pick that. I'm not using that money to go to Dubai for break. I will use that money and come back and feed the widows. Pay school of the orphans. Pastor Godfrey, how many people today got touched? Three. One Sunday. 5,000. That's 5,000. Ghana cities. One Sunday, 5,000 Ghana cities. That's one service. Room. And this is what we do on almost every service. It's not almost every service. Almost every service. At least so we say, pay for a book. Oh. You are not giving us. Pay for, it is my book. Pay for it. Let me use the money and help people who don't have any food to eat. These people, look at that lady. Their mother don't even want to see her. Let's help them. Pay for a book. And you are saying, eh, these prophets love money. You are working as a nurse. Are you working for government for free? It's not because of money. Some people have come to my office and say, pray for me. My salary is not coming. I told you, you don't love money. They are advertising mentors. Don't mind that. Look, let me tell you something. Grow up. The money, look, with all humility, the money we put on charity this, this, this year. This year, the money we put on charity. There is no car you couldn't have buy. There's no car in Ghana you couldn't have buy. Forget about Lamborghini. Who won Lamborghini? There's no car. Receive revelation. Receive light. Receive understanding. And then enlightenment. So sad. Let me tell you. Let me address this. You are paying for the books. You, you are not even paying for my time. A lecturer at the school charge you for his time. But me, just my books. School fee. There are people that pay school fee. Jonah, didn't you come today and tell me that they said your school fee is... Uh, you should come and pay your school fee. The school fee we paid the last time. Didn't you buy her house? You still bought her house after the school fee. So you know you are not paying fee. It's the her house we are selling to you and you are getting angry. No, no school fee yet. No problem. We are coming back with the school fees. And I'm saying it with all humility and with all due respect. Sir, we are helping you. You know, one, man, one guy contacted me. You, you completed the Bible school. He contacted me. That, uh, I contacted uh, one of your prophets. Uh, and then he said, um, I have to pay some uh, money to be enrolled into the school. And then I don't understand why I have to pay money to be enrolled. I said, okay, is it not a school? Yes, it's a school. Sir, with all humility, the Bible school you completed, didn't you pay fee? Yes, I paid. So why are you having issues with this? Or is it because you feel like we now we don't deserve to, everything should be free. No, today I came live. You, di you didn't buy me data. I will not teach We are preaching, man. May the Lord deliver some people. May the Lord give them light. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>